Thank you to the EA Sports Game Changer program for flying me down to Orlando and allowing me to capture some early Madden 20 footage for you guys. Today we will be playing a Draft Champions game against fellow YouTuber Koopa. His link will be in the description if you guys want to check out his channel. We will be showing all 21 rounds of the draft before we hop into the game. Yes, I said 21. It looks like they've added an extra round to Draft Champions this year. I can only assume that final round is the Legend round, but there were no Legends in Ultimate Team in the draft champions mode when we were capturing this content a couple of weeks ago so you guys won't be seeing any of those legends so yeah this is not the final version of madden 20 as you might be able to tell these ratings might be final though and then you can tell the speed is definitely toned down from the last couple of years of ultimate team where a top receiver like antonio brown might have something like 87 or 88 speed at the beginning of the year he has 83 speed odell 85 and odell is actually one of the faster receivers in the game so because of that we are going to grab odell even though he's the lower rated receiver he's got speed on his side and he's also got a place in my heart as a former new york giant so even though he's on the browns we'll still get obj on our team and round five we have a chance to pair obj up with robert woods marvin jones or alan robinson you see once again these speed ratings are definitely down but that's just for everyone it's not just for you know the guys we're seeing out here it's i guess a way to give ultimate team a buffer to you know make the top cards in the game really really good especially as we get on the year though the focus right now is draft champions and we actually pass up on ezekiel elliott i would love to grab ezekiel elliott and put him on our team but we have saquon barkley and saquon barkley is our number one guy no need to draft a second running back when we can get another you know, top flight offensive weapon round nine we finally get some defensive players on the board from what I could tell, we really start off with a offense heavy start to the draft and then go into a defensive heavy transition in the draft. So I'm not sure that'll be in the final version of the game, but that's the way it is as we are drafting right now. So we are deciding between Sean Lee, Avery Williamson, or Demario Davis. At the end of the day, we'll grab Demario Davis, put him at outside linebacker. Round 10, that's an easy choice. Levante David, he's like the highest rated player, so we'll grab him. Round 11, like I said, after we get through the offense heavy portion of the draft, now we are just going through defensive player after defensive player. We get Michael Pierce, put him inside, 84 overall. Now in round 12, we'll grab Darius Slay. Big play Slay, see if he can make a play for us. Speaking of big plays, that was the quickest decision I will make in my draft champions career. Eric Berry was on the board. Eric Berry's still a free agent in the NFL, so he's a free agent in Madden, but he's still an ultimate team. He's still an elite, and I don't care who else is on the board. We are getting Eric Berry, and we're going to try to go berry picking on Koopa. We already have Eric Berry at strong safety, but we are going to get Harrison Smith. We'll just move Harry to Hitman to free safety and try to roam with Eric Berry at the strong safety spot. Round 16, we got a mix of offensive and defense alignment, and we'll say round 17, more of the same. Not really any high-flying players out here. We do have Ndamukong Su, who is at right end, it looks like, so definitely interesting that they moved Ndamukong Su position. He's been a defensive tackle for all of every single year he's been in Madden so I had a pretty interesting choice here we end up grabbing the left guard Joe Tooney so hopefully that choice works out for us at the end of the day these aren't really game changing players for us they're gonna change the overall some of these guys by a couple of points so we actually grab a third defense attack we'll move one of those guys to outside linebacker and hopefully shut down the run I know Coop was a, a run heavy player so it's actually pretty useful that we have all these defense alignment we got JJ while we had even though we had enough defense alignment I guess you can never have enough defense alignment when you're trying to defend the run and when JJ Watts on the board you grab JJ Watt so we actually grab Cam Newton in the final round as our quarterback like I said I can assume that's the legend round since it, there are no legends in the game we just get Cam Newton on our side and we end up benching I believe Carson Wentz who was the guy we drafted in round one I did pass up on Drew Brees um, I know you guys are probably confused on why I passed up on Drew Brees. I, I don't really like the way Drew Brees plays in the game. I feel like his card is a little bit broken. So um, hopefully it should be patched by the, st um, the start of the year. So hopefully Drew Brees is fixed. But while we were catching this, Drew Brees and his pass leading was a little bit off. So I was even content with taking on Luke Cars and Wentz. And we ended up getting Cam. So I was like, you know what? Cam's our guy. Let's get Scram. See what he could do. Get some dual threat abilities going on try to run with cam and make sure that koopa can't run against us with todd Gurley, a big hit jj Watt showing his presence in the ground game and we force a punt on koopa's opening drive odell is back in the giants jersey one last time juking his way to the 36 yard line on the return now it's time for our offense to see the field for the first time and we do have a giants heavy offense which i didn't do intentionally we have saquon barkley as our running back evan ingram as our tight end and obj the former giant as our wide receiver third down to nine cam newton at the helm he's definitely not a giant he is gonna fumble the ball though and that's gonna be a fumble recovery for big linvaugh joseph and they will tackle linvaugh joseph because as he showed against the eagles last year 
You can scoop up those fumbles and take them back for six. So a big tackle for us to contain Koopa and bring his offense on the field and see what he could do. He dumps it down the chrome right here and he will take the ball to the 32-yard line. That was Russell Wilson's first pass attempt of the game. Like I said before, Koopa is a run-heavy player. I've known that from when I played him in the past. So I know he's going to get McCaffrey involved, Gurley involved, get those running backs as many touches as they possibly can. And thankfully, we have J.J. Watt on our side because J.J. Watt has blown up a couple of these runs single-handedly. That's an Aaron throw and that be intercepted Harrison Smith back in the end zone both feet in bounds and that'll be a turnover this is an end around for Odell Beckham Jr. the animations for end arounds pitches reverse you know a plays for the wide receiver where it's a fake to the running back and it goes to the receiver all those plays are pretty cool in this game the animation so you know, you can definitely notice them, the detail they put into those animations for Madden 20. As we have our third run with Cam Newton and still no quarterback spy. And that is a horrible throw from Cam. I don't know. What is up with the quarterback accuracy stuff in draft champions? But it's definitely a little bit off. I, I feel like this is just a product of us playing an early version of the game. Because some of these throws are very off especially i've noticed in draft champions and part of the reason why is because in draft champions there are no superstar or x-factor abilities as you might have noticed i don't know that's going to be like that in the final version of the game it would be cool if we had those x-factor and superstar abilities in the final version but as we were playing this there there were none in draft champions though ultimate team in general was far from a finished product when we play like there were like i said there were no legends in the game there were not really many sets in the game there were just really just the players there so they did their best to give us ultimate team content to capture as well as draft champions. So this is what we had to work with out here. Unfortunately, Cam misses a drag route to Odell. And like I said, the accuracy was definitely a problem. Third down and seven. The pass rush is a problem on that play. Joey Bosa coming in too quick for us to make a decision. Not really much open anyways. But we end up settling for our field goal. That'll be the first points of the game up and good as Christian McCaffrey, the returner on this kickoff. We are going to lay a major boom shot as McCaffrey gets to the 32-yard line. A minute 33 to work with for Russell Wilson and the offense. And they have five more yards to try to gain if they want to get into the end zone. You saw I declined a delay of game on Koopa earlier. I gave him the courtesy and maybe, you know, he was doing something and he wasn't paying attention or whatever. I was like, all right, I'll decline a penalty. It's a friendly game. But if you're going to run down the clock twice, like I'm not, I'm not done declining those penalties. You got to pay attention, my dude. So we'll make Koopa work a little bit harder, harder if he wants to get points to tie the game or take the lead. He now has under a minute to work with and he's going to dump it down to Christian McCaffrey trying to make a move in the flats. I did say this in an earlier video that those table routes to the running backs this year seem to be toned down a little bit where you can't turn it upfield as quickly. So that's going to be a little bit of an adjustment. It's fourth down and two and the offense is on the field. Koopa is going to go forward. He is going to pass. And Russell Wilson is going to go way wide at the Laney Walker. And that will be intercepted by the sec for the second time in this game by Harrison Smith. And once again, those quarterback accuracies in draft champions really are taking over this game as Cam in trouble. And he's going to fumble the ball for the second time in this half. Quarterbacks fumble the ball a lot in Madden 20. I can't emphasize that enough. If you're running with your quarterback, you don't want to do what I did. Where I actually hit the B button thinking I was not um, ahead of the line of scrimmage. I was, so I ended up spinning instead of throwing the ball. That'll end the first half just to screen pass to Saquon trying to make something happen. So yeah, make sure you slide when you're running with your quarterback. Even a quarterback like Cam, unless you have one of those abilities where you can, you know, run like a running back that I believe Cam and Lamar Jackson have in rig teams. You definitely do not want to take many hits as we give it to Saquon Barkley. We're definitely running a tricky offense. It's a 5-5 five -five formation, but you got a running play built into it. You got a jet sweep to a receiver. You've got the fake. Unfortunately, Devontae Adams didn't really get too far afield. In fact, we can lose five yards. So a second down and six becomes a third down and 11. Cam Newton one more time looking to convert with his legs. And he does. Cam Newton six rushes, 67 yards. And I believe finally Cooper might have to start thinking about putting out a quarterback spy because that has been the main form of offense for us cam newton oh still no quarterback spy he's relying on the pass rush and it is gonna work out for him odell can't make the tight catch in traffic and that'll force thomas morstead and the punting unit to come out on the field it's as good of a punt as you can ask for pinning mccaffrey in the corner not giving him a chance to return the ball and now todd girl and the offense work from their own 11 yard line and we are trying to shoot these run gaps as much as we possibly can here. I believe I missed the gap right there, so I'll give Gurley some space to 
attempt to spin, but the spin move not as effective in Madden 20. So you see Gurley's spin move taking about two years to complete, and that allows us to easily make the tackle with Eric Berry as opposed to the last two Maddens, mainly where the spin move was pretty OP as we shut down the run from McCaffrey. It's third down. It's play action. It's Russell Wilson feeling the pressure as we send the blitz. It's not exactly getting home, but it is going to force Wilson to throw that ball away. Fourth down and 10. We are trading punts at this point of the game. This has been a defensive showdown between myself and Koopa. Oh, Dell with a punt return. Juking all around. Breaking the tackle and OBJ. So elusive in the open field. And in a game where field position matters, those punt returns as opposed to where Koopa wasn't able to return a punt against us can help us gain yards in that battle of field position. Third down and 10 that we do need to convert and can Kim get it with his legs? Oh, we tried. We risked the hit. Thankful we didn't fumble, but it is going to bring up a fourth down and two near the end of the third quarter. Thinking about letting that clock chew, but we do get the snap off. The biggest play in the game. Can we convert? No, we cannot. We try to throw a crossbody pass and that did not have a chance of being converted. I just tried to do too much with Cam Newton. I was thinking about scrambling. Did not want to make the throw. I saw so many people open. I didn't set my feet. So now we have given Koopa a chance to get back into this game. Remember, a field goal does tie it. He does need to convert this third down and eight. And he has burned his final timeout. Koopa's clock management has been highly questionable in this game. He has burned all of his timeouts just because he kept on running out of time. As Wilson on the run. That'll be incomplete. Oh, wait, it's DeAndre Hopkins. No, actually, it's Emmanuel Sanders not making the catch. Fourth down and eight. He is going to go for it. Offense on the field. Wilson looking to pass and that'll be intercepted. Koopa puts his hands in the cookie jar and Eric Berry is gonna make him pay and then some. Berry off to the races and Eric Berry's got himself a pick six. We have gone Berry picking. You, you can't put your hands in the cookie jar, especially now when Eric Berry is on the field. So that could be a mistake that cost Koopa the game. Since he has burned all his timeouts due to poor clock management. No other way to put that. Sorry, Koopa. <laughs> Here he is needing a touchdown or just a score. And at some point, most likely an onside kick. So... First things first, you got to get that score. Even a field goal here will do you fine because you still need to get that onside kickoff at some point. If you get a first down, which is not looking too likely, he's still trying to run the ball and we're still blowing it up with JJ Watt. Just shedding defenders. Game on the line. I'm fourth down. The blitz doesn't come home. Looking for Beckham and OBJ is going to get the first down. I thought he didn't get both feet in bounds, but unfortunately for me, I didn't have the option to challenge the play under the two minute warning. That was up to the referees and the ref said play on. I all right, refs, thank you very much. So the drive stays alive. Russell Wilson on the run, making the throw to Rodgers. And with that Chester Rodgers of the Indianapolis Colts at the 21-yard line, you want to think about going for the field goal in this situation. Koopa still keeps the offense on the field and keeps it in bounds to Odell Beckham Jr. That's going to cause more clock to chew. And he's still looking to try to score a touchdown here as J.J. Watt gets the sack, his first of the game. But still, J.J.'s been making a major impact. Yeah, the... Chance to take the field goal is pretty much gone at this point. There's only 12 seconds left in the... Well, it's still there technically, but he is going to go for it on fourth down and nine rather than trying to kick that three and going for the onside kick. He's looking end zone. Barry nearly gets his second interception in the game looking for Walker, and that will eventually be a turnover on downs after all the theatrics. After a little RPO past the Odell Beckham Jr., that will end the game, so... Yeah, Kuba definitely could have managed that game a little bit better, but still, that was a defensive battle, and we ended up winning the battle at the end of the day, mainly with a pick six from Eric Berry. So leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed some Draft Champions action from Madden 20. Hope you guys enjoyed the early content. If you guys do enjoy the early Madden 20 content, subscribe to the channel because we have more early Madden 20 gameplay coming your way. And eventually, once Madden 20 does release, we'll be uploading a lot of Madden content on the channel. Top 10 plays gameplay, all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Man 20 gameplays, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching.